to my channel so i hope y'all are doing really good so i did a poll on instagram and i asked everybody if they wanted to see a makeup tutorial or a style haul and a lot of people chose a style haul which made me super super happy because i don't really talk about my style i just started showing my um, outfits on instagram um, and i started getting like a lot of good feedback as far as my outfits and just body positivity because that's what we're about so i thought i would start off with my shirt so everything that i am showing you guys i will link it in the description bar where i got everything and all that good stuff you know all the descriptions it's, in, it's gonna be down there all right so forgive me for showing you this shirt in this state this is a uh, vintage shirt i got it from poshmark it is just a wolf shirt so with this shirt i have a little bit of an obsession with graphic tees graphic tees are just my thing that's just what i prefer to wear i don't know it's just something about the style it just gives me a little bit of a quirky look and i just love quirky that's just how i am and it's got wolves on it like who doesn't want a shirt with wolves on it? I don't know who doesn't, but I do. So the next shirt that I got is from Urban Outfitters and it's just this moonshine t-shirt. But yes, this shirt was, it wasn't cheap. The shirt was about $35. Um, I did get it on sale. I don't know, I think it was worth it just cause it's got like moonshine, New Orleans and like the Creole on there. It's really cool cause like some of my family's from New Orleans, Louisiana or Rain, Louisiana. So I just think like, it just reminds me of my family a little bit. Now, sticking in the realm of Urban Outfitters, we do have this Sublime shirt. Now, there's a story with this shirt. So, this is the shirt. It does have Distress in it. It's got Sublime on it and then does have the Sun. And this shirt is also a one-size-fits-all. So, the story with the shirt is when I looked online, if you guys go on Urban Outfitters and you look up the Sublime shirt when I put the link in the description, you'll see the shirt, the shirt is super distressed. There's holes in it, it's oversized, and I was like, and I like the distressed shirts. I love them. I would sometimes do them myself on my own shirts. And when I bought the shirt, there were no holes in it. And I honestly should have took a picture when I bought the shirt and I took it out the package because I was like, this is not the shirt that I bought. Mm. I went back to look because I was trying to see if it was one of those situations where it's just like, oh, the shirts are made to order. Like, they'll be different. Um, all shirts are different. Didn't say that in the description at all. So I emailed Urban Outfitters and I was like, so I bought the shirt thinking that it's going to be distressed like in the picture and it's not. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not that huge of a deal, but it's kind of just like I feel they charged that price because the shirt was distressed and... I could have paid something cheaper if you weren't gonna do that, you know? No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. So, yeah, long story short, sure didn't have holes in it. So I did it myself. So all these holes, you guys see any kind of distressness in here? I did that myself with a pair of scissors and then my fingers, I just kind of put my fingers in there, wiggled it around, pulled it apart to make the holes look a little bit more distressed. So this shirt that I got, I got from Urban Outfitters and it is a Nirvana t-shirt. And this one also is a little bit distressed. I had been waiting to get this shirt because I think this shirt, I don't remember how much this shirt was honestly, but it definitely was not cheap. And I was like, oh. I like Nirvana, but I don't know about all that. But yeah, I went ahead and I got it because it, this one does fit me like a dress. And I don't wear it as a dress though because my butt is a little bit on the larger side. So in the back, it does lift up. And we don't need that out because somebody will not appreciate my butt being out like that, okay? So this shirt is also one of the one size fits all shirt. Like I said, this one does fit me as a dress. So if you're 5'5 five five and you're a size 16, it will fit you like a dress. Anything um, taller than 5'5, five five, this will just be like a regular t-shirt on you. But yeah, I really like this shirt and it's got the distress, it's got the band on it and it's like this acid wash gray color and I just think it looks really, really cool. I buy the shirts because when I listen to the bands, I always get people asking me, they're like, do you even listen to the bands of the shirts you wear? Yes, yes, I do in fact. My father raised me, my brother, and my sister on Metallica, Guns N' Roses, Motley Crue, Aerosmith, Bon Jovi, everybody. We, we heard them all, we listened to them all, we all had the CDs there's that okay yes i listen to the bands so still in the realm of band shirts this is one of my favorites this one's iron maidens i did get this one from old school tees this shirt was 23.50 this shirt it is a um, men's t-shirt so this one it is going to fit you a little bit larger this one i did get it in a regular men's extra large just because i didn't really want it to be oversized not too oversized so this one i do like to wear it at my waist you guys do see it on instagram where i'll tie it at my waist and have like a cute little skirt to go with it now this one's my favorite and it is my led zeppelin tie-dye long sleeve t-shirt 
So this t-shirt I was on the hunt for because I saw it was sold out everywhere. But then I went on Old School Tees and they had it. It was a little bit more on the pricier side. I think this one was $39 uh, because this one it is licensed merchandise and it is tie dye. So yeah, you guys see the logo. I am obsessed with this shirt. I wear it around the house and my dad actually likes this shirt. So I think I'm gonna get my dad this um, shirt in, in his size because it's super, super dope. So this is my Led Zeppelin 1977 Inglewood t-shirt. This one is also a men's extra large and it's cotton so it just feels super soft. It's super, super comfortable. Sometimes I'll wear this to sleep. Um, and I do like to wear my shirts to sleep sometimes because it stretches them out a little bit and it makes them a little bit more distressed. If you don't want them to be that distressed, don't do it obviously. But this one, it is a super, super comfortable t-shirt and it's just really, really breathable, even though it is black and summer's coming, people are probably like, why are you gonna wear a black t-shirt in summer? It's actually not hot when I wear it, so I'm not sweating all in it and I'm not getting all nasty and stinky. <laughs> not like I get, not like I stink like, mm, never mind. I just put my foot in my mouth with that one. And this one was also $23.50. So their shirts are really, really decently uh, price especially for being um, licensed merchandise because a lot of the bands t-shirts or um, concert t-shirts whatever they are expensive I tell you they're so expensive now we're getting into skirts so I'm actually not a skirt person so when I bought this I was kind of just like girl what are you doing you don't really wear skirts but this is so cute you guys know I am a leopard print nut I have shoes in leopard print I got bags in leopard print I got my clothes in leopard print now I got skirts in leopard print so this is just a skater skirt mac this is not a maxi skirt but this is a midi skirt so it just goes down to about my my knees it looks a little bit more vintage and a little bit more oversized because it does have the stretch band and what I mean by that is when I tuck my shirts in I'll have it hanging over the top and then it just helps it make a look look a little bit more like you know a little bit relaxed and effortless but still put together you know what i'm trying to say so this skirt is one of my favorite skirts so this one it is another leopard print skirt and it's super super cute so this one it is also a midi skirt with a little slit in the side and then it also has stretchy material and it's bodycon so i really like it because it does hug my hips really nicely and then it just flares out at the bottom and it gives myself a little bit more room especially when it's hot and it's sweating and like the, i'm just like my legs are chafing i'm chafing it's getting a little hot and sweaty down there okay now we're getting into shoes i'm not a shoe person i'm not a shoe junkie i don't have crap tons of shoes i literally have one pair of chucks and one pair of vans and then i have like two pairs of sandals that's it i don't really care much for um like I don't know like I just don't I'm not a shoe person like I said I, it's not my thing you already know a leopard print you guys already know so I did get these from Target they are platform leopard like block heel shoes they're really really cute and I thought these would look really really cute with some black jeans or my light blue jeans that you guys see on Instagram the ones that are um with the skinny jeans those would be super cute personally i cannot do heels i'm like a baby giraffe on ice when it comes to heels but these ones because they do have a little bit of a chunkier sole i can last a little bit longer and then me walking is not an issue for so, like my balance is just off i don't know my equilibrium's off everything's just off i'm a klutz i fall in booties i i roll my ankle in booties my friends can attest to this and it's so funny my best friend's frankie we were walking and i rolled my ankle in booties and it was just, he was just like girl what is the problem i don't know i just can't wear heels so the next thing i got were some converse so these are the lemon yellow converse and i am obsessed with these because one yellow is one of my favorite colors and then oh i had to make sure i didn't step in doo-doo <laughs> okay for <we're> good <laughs> We're good. Okay. What else can you say about Converse? It's a staple. It's a classic. Everybody wears Converse. I'm pretty sure everyone has owned at least one pair, whether it be like the high tops, low tops, whatever. I, I'm pretty sure somebody's owned at least one. So these are the next ones that I got and they are just the low top canvas um, platforms. So these are actually really, really cute. I saw a girl on Instagram wearing these and she had on the high tops, but I already have the high tops. So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and get the lows. And they're just super, super cute. And like I said, I do love platform shoes. It just makes me look a little bit taller. And then they're also a lot more comfortable than just regular flat shoes. But then I'm also kind of clumsy. So then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna step in something one of these days and I'm gonna be mad. So. 
Um, these ones were just a little bit more expensive. These ones I believe were 75 just because they um, are a little bit more popular and they do have the platform. I think platforms in general are a little bit higher than the normal shoes. But yeah, I just think they would be really, really cute. Just something to have in your closet and just for, you know, if you just want to go out on the town or something like that and do something fun. Get you some Converse. But all right, you guys, that is it for my style haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have any other questions about like my sizing or whatever it is you want to know, just let me know in the comments down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll definitely make some more because I feel like my style is evolving over time and I'm starting to get better at dressing myself and putting pieces together for myself. Um, because before I used to ask my sister a lot so now I'm just like oh I like this I like this this will look good that will look good this can go together there we go I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I've said that a thousand times but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>